friends, welcome back. So today's video is kind of like a part two or follow up to the video I posted most recently and that was about the tools I use on my pixie hair. Today I'm going to be talking about the products that I use. I am going to be talking about specific products and give you, give you recommendations. However, a lot of these products you might already have in your cabinet. So you might not have the specific one I talk about, but you might have something similar. So I would encourage you to, of course, use up the products that you have already. But if you're looking for any specific recommendations or to figure out if you might have any missing holes in your product lineup, then I hope this video is really helpful for you. If you're new, welcome. My name is Ava and I post videos about my pixie hair and other cruelty-free beauty and lifestyle videos. So welcome and let's get into the products. So one thing that I talked about in my tools video was a hair wrap that I use when I get out of the shower and I use that to let my hair air dry just a little bit and get a lot of the moisture out so then I it takes less time to blow dry my hair. So on damp hair, I like to apply a serum. This is the one I'm using right now, but the things I look for in a serum are something that will protect my hair against heat damage and also tame any flyaways and frizz that might be going on, stuff like that. So I really like this one from Giovanni, the, that's the brand, it's called Giovanni Eco Chic Hair Care. This is the first product that I've tried from theirs, but I saw Tashina from Logical Harmony talk about this brand and they are Logical Harmony cruelty-free approved. So I found this one at Whole Foods, but I'll link some places you can buy it online as well as all the products I, me I mentioned. I'll link some online retailers down below. This is their Too Chic Cherry Blossom and Rose Petals Ultra Luxurious Super Potion Silkening Hair Serum. That's a really long title, but what got me, what the reason I purchased this was it says it tames frizz and flyaways, silkens stressed, silkens tresses with shine. Couldn't read that for a second. Protects from heat damage and fights static. So I ha my hair does get staticky in the winter, which we're going into now. So I decided to pick this up and I love this. It doesn't look like I've used hardly any at all, which is weird because I've used it, used it for a couple weeks, but also with pixie hair, you don't go through products as much, or at least that's what I find, is that it takes me a lot longer to go through products because I'm only really applying this to this portion at the top of my hair and a little bit at the back just to keep those flyaways down. So I love this because it's, first of all, it smells freaking delicious. It's, I don't know if it smells necessarily like rose petals to me, but it smells like a really luxurious hair care product. Like, you know when you go to the salon and they use really nice smelling um, shampoos and products? That's what this reminds me of. And it just smells really good, but also does the job. It leaves my hair more shiny and silky, but it doesn't leave my hair greasy, which is a problem I have. My hair gets really greasy very quick, and this does not increase any greasiness. But you can really find tons of serums out there on the market. Just find one that fits your budget and your, you know, any specific brands you like. And yeah, apply this to damp hair and then I blow dry it with my round brush, which you've seen in tons of my tutorials. So definitely recommend getting a serum, even if you don't necessarily want um, the added shine or anything, definitely at least get some sort of heat protectant in your hair. It will just help with eliminating heat damage. I actually do use one more product in damp hair, but I don't use it every single day. And it is the Feed Your Roots Mousse, the volume enhancer. And I got this on the Pettivore website. This is the sample or travel size, and it's lasted me quite a long time. I really like this when I'm looking for that extra volume, that really oomph in my hair, especially when my hair grows out a bit and gets longer, it kind of weighs it down a little bit. So I like applying this to my roots, I just put one pump of this. It's not an aerosol, it's like a pump. Um, and you, I just massage it into my scalp at the top again, just to really lift those roots and get that volume up there. It does provide a little bit of grit too. So if you have very fine hair, I have, I don't have fine hair, I have thick hair, but if you have fine hair, I feel like this would be really awesome for you if you wanna get that extra grit and texture into your hair. Again, there are tons of mousses out there, but this is the one I really love right now. So the rest of the products I wanted to talk about are all products I use on dry hair. And I don't use all of them every single day, but I do use one 
almost every single day, and that is some sort of styling cream. Styling creams are great because it it can serve so many different purposes. If you're going for a sleek look, you can really run it through your finger, run it through your hair and sl slick it down, which I do kind of on this side of my hair. I kind of like to slick this down a little bit, but also you can use your hands in like this kind of motion, which I do, <laughs> to give myself a lot of volume and kind of bring out those layers in my hair, especially with um, dark hair it's all kind of one tone so i don't have highlights to really show off my layers so what i do is i run that um cream through my hands and kind of go like this and massage my scalp and kind of work my work it into my hair like this which will kind of break up my layers and really bring out that cut and all the different layers i have going on this specific one i'm using is from josh rosebrook again i got it on petit vor it is his styling cream and it says medium hold this I think is again the smaller size and it's lasted me so long. It I'll provide close-ups but this has just lasted me so freaking long and I really really like it. You do have to really warm this up in your hands. Um, it doesn't, it kind of comes out more thick so then you want to just massage it into your hands, warm up the product and then run it through your hair. One trick that Jonathan from Queer Eye taught me is to work not me specifically, but on the show, is to work from back to front, which has really helped me a lot. So I get a lot of the product in the back on my hairline because I really wanna smooth those down. And then I kind of work my way up here, again, pull, like kind of slick down the sides. And then I run the rest, starting from the kind of the crown of my head, I run it and make it all messy, moving towards the front and finally adjusting my bangs. This is a really good product if you want to adjust your bangs too. Sometimes things aren't looking good and they're not looking exactly how I want, but this I can kind of mold my hair into the specific shape I want. So moving on, I wanted to talk about a specific type of product that I would recommend if you had pretty thin or fine hair. And that is some sort of texturizing spray. This one is from Drybar, it's called the Triple Sec 3-in-1. Texturizes, amplifies, and refreshes. I don't really find that it refreshes my hair. It doesn't act the same as a dry shampoo, but it does provide a lot of texture and grit in your hair. Again, if you have thin hair and you really wanna add some volume and texture to your hair, this type of product is great. There are also a bunch of sea salt sprays. Something like that would um, give your hair more grit and volume and stuff like that. This one specifically from Drybar is pretty pricey. However, it has lasted me so long. I'm out now or there's like the tiniest amount left. Um, but it did last me a long, long time. Again, with all these products, I find that I just don't go through them very often. But yeah, so this would be great for thin hair. I feel like it wouldn't be a hair care video if I didn't discuss a hairspray. So the one I have is from Josh Rosebrook and I got it on the Pettivore website and it is in the travel size and has lasted me forever. I feel like a broken record in this video, but what can you do? <laughs> so I really like this hairspray, but I've obviously tried tons of hairsprays throughout my life, but I really like this one and I don't use hairspray too often just because I feel like between the molding cream, which I use almost every single day, and any sort of texturizer or the volume mousse. Between those things, my hair does really hold onto those products really well. So I don't use the hairspray every day, but I did use it, for example, on my sister's wedding day. I did my own hair, even though I was a bridesmaid, I just did my own hair because I'm fine at doing my own hair. And so I did spray this on just to give it that extra hold because I didn't want it to move throughout pictures. I just wanted to be able to style it, feel good with how it looked, and then be done for the day and not have to worry about it. So that's the time, those are the instances that I would use a hairspray. But most of the time I'd want to be able to play around with my hair and have it move throughout the day. Yeah, so I really love this one from Josh Rosebrook. If you have any hairspray recommendations or any recommendations for these types of products that I'm discussing, leave them down in the description box. So finally, this is not a product that I use super frequently, but I wanted to mention it because it is something that I feel like a lot of people would like to use, and that is a dry shampoo. I, when I had longer hair, I loved using dry shampoo because on second day hair, I could just spray my hair with dry shampoo and put it in a top knot and look totally fine and my greasy roots would be hidden. But unfortunately with a pixie, I just can't do that very often. It just doesn't work for me. And 
I don't know. It just doesn't work for me. So if I do have, if I do go two days without washing my hair, then I'll just throw a hat on. But occasionally I do use a dry shampoo and cur currently I'm using this from, I don't know how to pronounce this brand name, Captain Blankenship. I got it on the Pettivore website and it is mainly made from arrowroot powder, white clay, rice powder, baking soda, etc. So this is just a powder form that you can just pour into your hand and it is very messy. So I, if I do use this, I make sure I don't have my shirt on for the day. So I apply it before I put my clothes on for the day and it is pretty messy and it is white. It leaves a bit of a white cast in my super dark hair. So for that reason, I don't use it all the time, but I do sometimes use a minimal amount of it just to give me again, more texture and volume in my roots. If you can't tell, I really like texture and volume in my hair. If you have any dry shampoo recommendations for me, please leave them down in the comments down below. You all always have great recommendations. And yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an awesome day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.